Hey, this is Will from MachineLoveUs.com, the blog where we discuss how artificial intelligence is affecting society. So you want to become a data scientist? Many people do, and for good reason. The field offers lucrative salaries, but more than that, this field is in high demand because of the abundance of data and the kinds of questions that can be answered from data. Companies are looking for individuals who can draw insights from their vast data sets and then make actionable decisions based on that data based on those insights that you draw from it as the data scientist. There's a lot of opportunity here, so let's jump in. If you want to become a data scientist, you're going to have to get comfortable with reading a lot. There's new papers coming out all of the time. There's new books and tutorials you can read. You really want to be comfortable reading technical documentation. You want to be comfortable understanding technical documents. Here are five books that I think will help you form a fundamental basis for data science learning. They're not all data science books, but they all will help you in your journey to become a data scientist. Number one has to be The Elements of Statistical Learning by Trevor Hasty, Robert uh, Tubasharani, Jerome Friedman. Um, here I have the Springer edition, the Springer series in statistics. And this will help you form the foundation data, foundational data science concepts. It really goes through from the beginnings of least squared regressions, linear algebra, up to building uh, those machine learning models using those methods um, that you will most likely use all the time in your job as a data scientist. I find this book very approachable, and I highly recommend it for those looking to get into the field. There's not much programming that you'll be doing in the book, but um, you will have to think kind of like a computer scientist, kind of like a mathematician, uh, which are fundamental aspects of being a data scientist. The next book I have on here is Fluent Python. Now, I'm going to take an opinion here, an opinionated stance, and say, as a data scientist, you should learn Python. And you could do a lot worse than getting Luciano Romalo's Fluent Python. The subtext, subtitle here on this book is Clear, Concise, and Effective Programming, and it definitely is. This book really takes a deep dive into Python, learning Python and thinking through how the language is built. I think if you're going to become a data scientist in the next few years, Python will be pretty much the standard language of, choi language of choice. Certainly, um, folks will make a case for R, but even if you learn Python, you can use it in so many other ways that, um, you know, there's really no going wrong in learning Python. And Fluent Python is a great uh, book to do it with. Next on the list, number three, is Introduction to Machine Learning with Python. And this puts the programming knowledge we learned in the elements uh, in Fluent Python together with the elements of statistical learning, really packages it together so you can see uh, how Python and data science statistics work together to employ those models um, using the Python programming language. Uh, this book is just really solidly put together, easy to follow along with, uh, kept up to date, well written, and uh, with plenty of examples. I highly recommend it. Now the last two books, four and five, are not strictly data science, programming, computer science, mathematics books. They are here to help give you more of the softer skills uh, with programming and becoming a data scientist. The first, number four, is The Signal and the Noise by Nate Silver. Uh, Mr. Silver now hosts uh, a podcast called 538. He has the 538 blog and really helps you understand what can be modeled and what can't. He helps you understand when predictions start to fall down. There are examples of places where you just can't uh, do modeling, uh, where it's very difficult. For example, earthquakes, predicting earthquakes notorious problem. Uh, the data is sparse um, and it also has this element of time to it. Uh, so, so, f so the signal in the notebook really goes through some key examples of modeling, of thinking with statistics that will be critical uh, in your profession as a data scientist. Now the last one uh, is Soft Skills by John Sonnet. I mentioned we'd be looking into softer skills and here it is. Uh, this book will help set you up for a career as a data scientist from the perspective of communicating your ideas with 
other individuals, of working in a team, of learning how to better yourself as a programmer, as a person. <clears throat> John Sama has built uh, the simpleprogrammer.com, which is a great resource for you. If you're just starting out, you need to understand that uh, becoming a data scientist is more than just knowing the programming language, knowing the modeling, knowing the statistics. It's being able to communicate those ideas. It's being able to take criticism. It's being able to present yourself as a professional. Soft Skills by John Sanmez is a great read. I recommend it. So those are the top five. One, the elements of statistical learning. Two, fluent Python. Three, introduction to machine learning with Python. Four, the signal and the noise. And five, soft skills. Now, as you progress in your data science journey, you'll naturally start moving away from reading textbooks to reading papers. And reading papers is, is a different kind of animal than reading books. Um, and we'll go over that in another video. But for now, please visit us at machinelovus.com. Hope to see you there. Bye.